case, so boom. <laughs> you was tough on the streets, <laughs> make sure you remain tough when you get to prison. So I'm in my cell, I'm cool, I'm chilling, minding my business like I always do, right? My phone started vibrating. <laughs> I'm looking at the phone, phone looking at me, me and the phone looking at each other, it's back. I answer the phone, pow, hello. She, what you doing? What you think I'm doing? Doing time. She was like, oh, I'll just call and I'll let you real quick before I get ready to go to work or whatever, whatever. I said, oh yeah, I'm good. She was like, you still, you need me to do anything for you? I was like, yeah, I need you to mail them books off. If you ain't already got the book, I need you to go get the book. JTB3.org. So when I get off the phone with her, I'm getting ready to fix me a meal. I pop the commissary bag open, right? Grab me a chili. Grab the chili pouch. Grab the summer sausage. Grab the cheese bar. Grab the noodles. You know what I'm saying? And then I go to my cooler, because I got a bell pepper and an onion in there. I know a lot of people thinking, ain't no way they had no bell peppers and onions in the penitentiary. Listen to me, penitentiary rules in effect. And if you ain't never been to the penitentiary, listen, I advise you to never go to the penitentiary. But they got bell peppers and onions in there, but the only way you're gonna get them if you got a kitchen man. And I got a kitchen man, you know what I'm saying? I pay him $25 a month, he bring me two sandwiches every day, and if I need bell peppers and onions, I just holler at him and I give him an extra two, three dollars, he bring me a bell pepper and an onion, you know what I'm saying? So I'm chopping up the bell pepper, right? <laughs> I get through chopping up the bell pepper, I hit the onion up. I get through chopping up the onion, you know what I'm saying? I grab the summer side, break the summer side, go through that, grab my bowl, right? Break down the noodles. Now, if you've been to the penitentiary, you already know how you break down the noodles. You gotta bust the, well, they don't call them noodles in the penitentiary, they call them soups. So I take the soup and I'm crushing it on the floor. When I get that crushed down, pop him open. Pour him in the bowl. Put him in the bowl. I put all, I put my summer sausages, onion, and bell pepper all in a bowl together. Then I got my chili in a bowl, and then I got my cheese in a separate bowl. I know y'all thinking, well, that's a lot of bowls. Well, that's how I did it. So I go down to the microwave. I got my bowls all stacked on top of each other. The cheese bowl on the top. So as I'm going down to the microwave, right, first thing I noticed was little QP, he on the phone. So when I see him, he see me, we see each other. You know what I'm saying? We kind of like eye, and he turned his back towards me like I'm in his conversation. Bro, I ain't even in your conversation. Like, I ain't stuck what you got going on. So I go to the microwave, and when I go to the microwave, I see a brother doing push-ups at the table. They sitting here, they playing chess. So evidently, they had to be gambling. If brother just lost, you know what I'm saying, and he doing push-ups. When he get through doing the push-ups, I hear him say, man, play five dollars a game, play five dollars a game. And the brother who's saying that, knowing he ain't got no business saying five dollars a game, because this man ain't never got no food. And, and, and if he do got some food, he gonna go spend it on brown. He gonna go buy tobacco and smoke it. This man don't never keep no food. He gonna go, the, the, the best thing that happened to him in the penitentiary is you get three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Other than that, this man ain't gonna have nothing. Matter of fact, let's just call him broke folk. This man say, play, play five dollars a game. The dude he playing is the opposition. You don't know what the opposition is? That let me know you ain't never been affiliated. And if you ain't never been affiliated, listen, my advice you never become affiliated. Dude say, bet that. I look straight at bro. Have you ever had, commercial break me please. Have you ever had somebody with their eyes on you, you don't see it, but you can feel it. Listen, my eyes had to been, I'm talking about, he had to feel that burn on his back. This man don't look, so by the time, I'm going, I said that was up, I already know what's gonna go on. I popped the microwave, boom, put my food in. Put my food in, Another brother walk up. I'm looking at him, he look at me. Hey, Joe T, man, you stay at the microwave, bro. What you mean I stay at the microwave? Man, bro, dang, you don't let me eat with you. I said, man, bro, this is a personal meal. This is a personal meal. He said, man, that's what you always say. When you gonna let me eat with you, Joe T? I said, it ain't gonna be today. I said, man, that's over with. He said, that was up, bro. He walk off. Now, as I'm at the microwave, I'm sitting here and I started thinking about this dream that I had been having. Like, you know, a lot of people don't talk about in the penitentiary, you know what I'm saying, or having nightmares or missing home or a loved one done passed away or just something that you, where you troubled in your sleep. And it was a situation that happened when I was on the streets. I, I had never been able to connect the dots, you know what I'm saying, with two of my homeboys. You know, if you don't hear the stories, then y'all know we used to be jack boys. You don't know what a jack boy is. They let me know you ain't never been in the penitentiary. But it was one time I was on the run for attempted murder and one of my friends had called me and told me that he had a lick. So I'm like, cool. Which everybody used to call me, what well, my homeboys did anyway, when they wanted to hit leaks, because they already knew that I was with that. 
So they came and got me, and there were two of them. One of them I considered my best friend, the other one, he, he my homeboy, he my cousin too. And they had already said who it was we was going to basically rob. So we walk in this, it's, it's basically a bunch of backyards, these houses, we walking through these people's backyard to get to this house. And when we got to the house where we was supposed to get ready, we was gonna rob or kick the door in or whatever, when we walking up on the porch, and I can still remember hearing like the, the creak, like, when we was going up the wood steps. And as soon as we got up, I'm like, y'all ready? I'm the only one with a gun on me. So I'm thinking anyway, at the time, they was like, nah, 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 don't do it. And I'm, I'm looking at them, they looking at me, we looking at you. I'm like, what you, I'm like, what's up? Like y'all done call me out here, know I'm on the run for attempted murder. Like police are looking for me. And you know, say y'all want to do this, we get here, we get on the porch and they y'all saying, nah, let's not do it. My brain went everywhere cause I was really wondering like, I wonder what that was about. So we go to walk off the porch and I remember how dark it was. I can remember the smell. I can remember what we had on. And as we walking, like my mind was like, they finna try to do something to me. And I remember pulling my gun out and cocking it. And I said, if anything move back here, I'm gonna kill it. And when I said that, they both kind of looked at me and that's what the dream was. Every time I say, if anything move, I'm gonna kill it. I woke up out of the dream. And so I'm sitting at the microwave and I'm thinking about that dream. I'm like, I wonder what they were, I always wonder what it was they were gonna try to do. Was it, were they trying to try to set me up? Was they finna try to hurt me? Was they trying to get me set up with the police? Like I, I, I always wonder, you know what I'm saying? What that moment, right there was about. So I finished heating up, you know what I'm saying? I got my summer sausage, bell peppers and onions. I heat that up, you know what I'm saying? When I pop it out the microwave, you know what I'm saying? I kind of move the bowl around a little bit. You can see it sizzling a little bit. I like the meat to almost look like it's a little burnt, you know what I'm saying? Call myself sauteing the bell pepper and the onion. I'm hitting it like this here, right? And now I look over it, bro, he, bro, you ain't get none of this, you know what I'm saying? I put my other bowl in, you know what I'm saying? Warm up my chili, you know what I'm saying? Put that in there, boom. And I hear bro say, man, uh, I need my five. I hear the, I hear the crib say, man, I need my five. So then I look over my shoulder, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting all my bowls together. Bro gonna tell me, man, bro, will you go up the steps? Tell my cell, I said, throw me, throw me five dollars worth of food down here. I'm thinking to myself, oh, he trying to get me involved. Like he know he down here gambling without no money. I'm finna go up here and tell your seller this. You, finna, you want your seller to come out here and see and say something so you can go ahead and try to get this other game in so you could try to break even or something like that. You know you ain't got that money. So I just look at bro, I said, that's what's up. I turn, bro who on the phone, he done turn back in the direction where I can see him. So when he turned back in that direction, I'm looking at him, he looking at me, we look at him. And I look at him like it cause he faking. He gonna do me like this. Man, babe, I'm telling you, babe, like my homeboy just woke by and me was I straight in thing. I said, oh, who that's what you straight? I said, that's what you straight don't put me in there. Man, I'm good, I'm good, Joe T, bro. I'm good, bro. I said, I go on with my food. I go on bust the move. I go on up the steps, right? When I'm going up the steps, I tap on the door. I'm not finna tell his cell to come out here with no commissary. I tap the door, pop, pop, pop. Look in, I said, hey, your cell want you. I walk in the cell. When I walk in the cell, close the door, boom. I hear him say, what's up, cell? He gonna give, man, throw me five dollars down here. Get with his cell holler. Huh? I already knew what time it was. I said, man, he, he just told on you right there. He said, man, quit playing silly, man. You see I'm down here handling my business. Throw me five dollars down here. When he say that, he said, I guess he said it, Pete, man, you know you ain't got no five dollars. He said it how I said it, he closed the door. Doom. I make a mental note. He know he down there gambling with the opposition and he, he ain't got no money. I said, that was up. So I'm finna put my wrap together right. I pull my tortilla shell out, you know what I'm saying? Crunch my chips up. <laughs> spread them out. I spread them out on there. You know what I'm saying? Put my chili together. Put the noodles in there. Put the summer sauces in there. Bell peppers, the onions. I done melted the cheese. Hit the cheese like that. Hit the cheese like that. Put that cheese on there. Mixed them all together, right? Mixed them all together. After I mix them together, I'm pouring it in the wrap. Somebody knock on the door. Doom, 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 doom. What's up? Man, I need to holler at you, Joe T, man. GB the reason, bro. GB. I said, man, come on, come on in, G-Body. He popped the door. 
He walk in, man, bless his hell. I'm looking at him, he look at me, we look at each other. He said, dang, it's smelling good here. I said, yeah, this a personal meal. What's up? He said, I ain't no, I, I wasn't even finna say none of that, Joseph. He was like, man, bro, why bro, bro down there breaking security? I said, what they got to do with me? He said, you the security. I said, well, if you seen him breaking security, you should have rolled him up. He was like, bro, that's what I was finna come holler at you. I said, what happened, what happened, bro? I'm trying to eat my food, bro, what happened? He said, man, bro, so I'm down there, I seen bro down there playing chess, right? I pulled up on the chess game. At the same time, bro stepped out of the cell. Why he got his shower shoes on for? I said, what? He come out to say he got his shower shoes on in the pod, bro. So when I look over, I was like, man, what, bro? He said, so I bob over real quick. I point down, I look at it. I said, bro, what you doing? He said, man, bro, look at me. I look at him, we look at each other, bro. Talking about, man, I'm straight, bro. Don't come on over with all that, bro. I'm good, bro. Like, I'm good, bro. He like, man, my setter needed to take care of some business real quick, bro. Like, I'm straight. This is going to be quick. He said, man, bro, you know you ain't supposed to be out here in your shower shoes, bro. Man, he said, so, bro, I tap on the door. Pop, pop, pop. Hey, man, you need to let folk come back in the cell, bro. Whatever you got going on, man, you need to hurry up. He said, man, I'm on the toilet. He said, man, you need to cut that shot. My, he said, man, hold on, bro. That's my center, bro. You tripping, bro. We got something going on. He said, man, I'm good. By this time, another brother walk up, Joe T. Talking about, I got him, bro. I'm on AAM. He think he's slick. Everybody know bro got a little mood right. Bro be busting the mood, you know what I'm saying? Get a little brown here and there. Get a little white girl. Christina Aguilera. My, you know what I'm saying? He bust a move in that. So so he they trying to defend him, right? I said, nah, nah, nah. So I walk on off, come up here to holler at you. And as he talking to me, I'm talking back. We converse, we having a whole little conversation. I'm still trying to pull my chili. The brother knock on the door. Doom, 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 doom. I said, what's up? He come in. Man, bless his cell. I said, what's up, G-Body? He closed the door. Doom. He said, man, what you got going on, bro? You the GD police or something? Bro turned a little. He said, man, what you mean, GD police? Bro, that disrespect. I said, oh, yeah, he GD police for real. I said, you know, I already came up here trying to tell. This man come up here saying, you, 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 you up here telling. Now you trying to say he being disrespectful. That's two different write-ups right there. I said, man, this is crazy. He said, man, yeah, bro. He said, bro, I told you my center was you in the bathroom. Bro pulled up, said he was going, hey, hey. And he was like, man, what type of time you on? Then you up here hollering at security, bro. What's up? He said, man, bro, I'm just saying, bro. Bro, just, we just had a meeting, bro. Talking about tightening up on security, bro. Bro, you down here in your shower shoes, bro. And the opposition and anything is out here, bro. Bro, you know that ain't what we always supposed to be doing, bro. He said, man, bro, I ain't even known all that, bro. I'm straight, bro. Like, what's wrong with you? Ain't no tension. Ain't no hostility or nothing in the air right now. Bro, go to push, bro. He was like, man, you need to quit acting like the police. Boom. When he pushed, bro, at this point, I got to put my food down. I said, oh, oh, hold on, I set my food on. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. What, y what y'all got going on, bro? He said, man, bro, I'm striking bro up, bro. I'm striking bro up for disrespect, and I'm hitting him up for breaks of kid. I said, you know what, we ain't got to go through all that. I said, bro, uh, how, how you please, bro? He said, man, what you mean, Joe T? I said, I'll tell you what. I said, I'm going to give you $50 sanction to the box right now, or I'm going to let this brother go and go do whatever he got to do on this paperwork, and when we strike it up and they come back, bro, I'm going to give you six minutes. Six minutes? Yeah, cover. I'm gonna give you six minute call. You ain't even gonna get the fight back. He said, I ain't Joe T. He said, bro, bro, you just basically confessed that you was outside with the shower shoes on. And then, you know what I'm saying? I did just sit here and watch you push, bro. And then, you know, you know he was like, yeah, bro, that's disrespectful, bro. And he's standing behind me. That's disrespectful, bro. I said, how you? He, you know what, Joe T? Hey, what's up? I'll I pay the 50. I'll pay the 50. I, I said, that hey, was up. So they mobbing out of the cell. They mob out of the cell. I get back to the rap. I'm, At this point, he pop, pop, pop. I said, what's up? Man, I need to holler at you real quick, bro. I said, man, pop the door. It's bro from down there on the phone. I go to bite the rat, right? He holler, you got some ketchup? I said, yeah, yeah, I got some ketchup, what's up? He said, bro, I need to use the ketchup just a second. I'll give it back to you, I'll give it back to you as soon as I'm done. I said, that what's up? I grabbed the ketchup off the shelf, pitched it to him, right, boom. He get the ketchup, boom, he closed the door, he walk out, boom. I go to bite the rap. He hit the door, pop, pop, he pop. I said, man, what's up, bro? Oh, uh, man, you know that stuff they use to wrap people up when they go to the clinic, when they get hurt and stuff, bro? I see somebody like the little brown rap thing. Yeah, 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 you, 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 you got some of that? I said, what, what you got? I said, what you got going on? He said, bro, I just need, he said, I just need to use it real quick. I said, no, nah, I don't got that. I said, you probably need to go holler at me, go name or something for that, you know what I'm saying? He said, which one? I said, bro, come on, bro, I'm trying to eat my food, bro. He closed it off. boom. I'm sitting here, I'm fine, I'm getting to eat my rap, right? Thinking about the dream. I'm eating. I said, okay. 
my brother got going on. I put my food down Cause I met I mess with little bro You know what I'm saying I remember when he first got here You know what I'm saying When he pulled up You know what I'm saying He come and holler at me You know what I'm saying Cause for some reason When you been to the penitentiary For a certain amount of time You got a little decent name When people can't find out What's going on And who they need to holler at And how they need to move Eventually they gonna be like Man go holler at your T You know what I'm saying I'm, I'm like unk at this point You know what I'm saying The little brother pulled up on me one time He man Man your T man I need I need to get an information request for him You know what I'm saying I'm trying to move out of the cell I said y'all You don't need no information request for him Move out and say you need to sell change uh sheet. He said, oh, I ain't see, 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 I ain't even know they had that. I said, look, bro, let me, I said, let me, let me come bro, pull up on me. I said, what you, what you locked up for anyway? He said, man, bro, you already know, man. I was out there with it, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody move but the money, you know what I'm saying? I was hitting the dice games up and everything. He said, man, I said, you hitting the dice games up? He like, yeah, man, I ain't playing with them dudes, man, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never been one of them dudes to get out there and hustle, you know what I'm trying to sell no work or nothing like that. I'm one of them dudes, I'm pulling that iron out on, you know what I'm saying? I need to get everything, you know what I'm I pull up on the dice game, skirt, I'm talking about, as soon as I jump out, you know what I'm saying? Everybody already know what's up, don't nobody move. You know what I'm saying? I just walk up like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Everybody put their little money in the pack, you know what I'm saying? I grab the money. You know what I'm saying? Bare face, I said, bare face? I said, oh, you got a death wish, man. They know what's up with me, man. I'm pop, 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 pop. John Wick out there, Joe T. I ain't tripping on none of that. So I hit the dice game a couple times, you know what I'm saying? And then it was at one time, you know what I'm saying? I hit this little lick. And dude, dude, you know what I'm saying? My homeboy, he was serving my homeboy, right? So I'm riding my homeboy one day. We pulled up to the house. When we pulled up to the house, you know what I'm saying? He come out, you know what I'm saying? He got a little bag. And in my mind, I'm thinking, he tripping like, why you just bring me to your plug house? You know what I'm saying? So I spin the block one day, Joe T. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting for him to pull up. You know what I'm saying? He going in the house. You know what I'm saying? I pop, come right behind him. Told him, don't even move. Like, walk in the house. We walk in the house. His gal on the couch. I push him out the way. I told him, man, don't, don't even move. Don't even move. He was like, man, what you want? He down on the ground. Joe. He said, man, I said, man, you already know what time it is. I want anything. He looking at me. I'm looking at him. We looking at each other. He said, man, it's in the bedroom. I said, T, your gal, go get it. So his girl go to the bedroom and she holler. I told you about bringing people to the house. I told you about bringing these people over here. And then you always, I told her, man, hurry up and get that. I don't care nothing about none of that. So she go in there and get the bag. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom. I come on out. Boom. I make, I jump in the car. I skirt out right. So that was another little leak. You know what I'm saying? I was just getting off out there. And then one time, man, my homeboy put me up on something. Come out. Uh, he knew where some guns was there, right? So. He showed me where the house at. I pulled up to the house, you know what I'm saying? Dude coming out of the house. I'm looking, I, I ain't never seen the dude before, you know what I'm saying? But he said, dude got the gun for sale. So he leave, you know what I'm saying? I get out the car, creep, creep over there, right? When I get to the house, you know what I'm saying? I look in, I'm like, man, I ain't even gonna kick the door in, you know what I'm saying? I run around to the back, you know what I'm saying? I hit the window, pop, pop. I climb through the window. I go through the window, Joe T, man, you ain't gonna leave here, bro. I said, what's up? Man, whole time he got one of them silent alarms on the house. So I'm in there. I'm talking, I'm flipping matches over. I'm in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm in there. I find one of the straps. You know what I'm saying? I'm come on out of the front door. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just bail out. I come out the front door. I'm creeping. I get close to the car. I look back. I see the police. They jump out. I strike out running, throw the gun. You know what I'm saying? I'm running right. I'm running. He's a runner. He's a track star. He gon' run away, he gon' get far. Na, 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 na. Ain't going to jail, uh, 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 uh. Man, Joe T, police jump all on top of him. I said, man, I don't know what's going on. He getting ready to put the cuffs on me. I'll get what he do. Smack me back in the head. He smack my. What you got going on? So, yeah, I was out there, you know what I'm saying? I was out there like that right there. That's how I met Lil' Buddy. So, I, I'm thinking, let me go down here and see what he got going on. So, I come out of the cell, pop. I walk down there. When I'm walking down there, I started thinking. The God, the thing, the rap, you know what I'm saying, the ketchup. I said, I know. He was just down on the phone talking about he also. I said, I know they ain't playing these guys. Little do I know before I got down here, they got him down here like this. They wrapping him up like this here. I'm not knowing this though. I get to the cell, I look in the door. I, they got the violate. I, pop, pop, pop. Hey, 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 homie, let me holler. Somebody pulled a violation over. I said, let me holler, bro, real quick. They don't say nothing. It's silent. They don't say nothing. They pop the door. I said, man, I'm going to walk in the cell, right? I said, man, bless this cell. So I said, man, what y'all? They got little bro wrapped up. They done got the gauze. They got the ketchup to make it look like it's blood. They got him wrapped up. 
These folks done took a pencil, took the lead out of it, crushed it down, put water on it, whatever else they might have added to make it to do a little smudge like makeup, put it under this man's eye. They done dressed him up in here like they done beat him up and stabbed him. And then this one person in front of the phone, he done, man, I'm telling you, man, you don't get that money today. I'm telling you, man, dude gonna really get that. He turned the phone, he was like, man, tell her to get that money. I'm sitting here looking like. I said, y'all got that. I walk out the sale. I'm thinking to myself, default, see people in commercial break me, please. People in the penitentiary go way too far to, to call their people to finesse, to get over on their girl in order to, 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 to take care of it to, so they can keep up with their habits and all this other stuff. I said, this right here, just, this ain't even making sense, bro. Like, you literally done wrapped yourself up, put this on your, got these folk calling this girl, you down here on the phone early. Like, this is a whole calculated strategic move just to probably get $50. I'm talking about it ain't even a lot of money. Like, it's crazy. I walked back down to the set. I said, man, them dudes, I walk in the cell, when I walk in the cell, I grab my food. I hear, man, I told you, man, come on with my money, bro, bro. I ain't finna keep, come on with my money. I said, that's him down there on the chessboard. I popped the door. They down here like this here. Man, bro, I told you, I said, hey, hold on. I said, what's what? I said, hold on, hold on, hold on. I said, what you got going on, G-Bot? He look up at me, I look at him, he look at, we looking at each other. And they holding each other like this here. I said, man, what you got going on, bro? He said, man, bro, tripping, man. I told bro I was gonna give him up. I said, man, what do you owe you, cuz? Cuz I already know he ain't got no money. He said, man, he owe me $15, OT. He owe me $15, OT. I said, let me holler at him real quick. When I get through hollering him, I said, man, I got you, bro. I said, bro, come on up here, let me holler at you real quick. He said, man, bro, he, the, he, he pushed him up off of him. He get to walking up the steps, right? When he walking up the steps, I'm looking at him, he got his head down. He know what time it is, bro. You know, you know that's one of the guys, like, you know that's one of the law. Ain't no gambling, bro. Then on top of that, you down here gambling without no money. Had it been a bunch of brothers on the rock at the time, everybody would have had to run up and AA this dude. You don't know what AA is, let me know you ain't never been a Philly. You ain't never been a Philly, I advise you to never to become a Philly. They walk up his steps, he come in the cell. Man, bless his cell. I said, bro, what you got going on? Man, I'm trying to get up Joe T, man. The guys don't fool with me, bro. Every time I go to the box, they talking about I got a limit. Ain't no other brother got no limit. Everybody else going over six dollars. He really trying to fast talk me. So I really want, so I don't get to, you know what I'm saying? He want me to feel bad for him. Then all the, then, you know what I'm saying? The guy got the move, you know what I'm saying? They don't break bread. They charging me just like they charging the opposition. Joe T, what I'm supposed to do, bro? Then, you know what I'm saying? I be trying to get on the horn, right? My people ain't got money like that. You know what I'm saying? They ain't trying to answer them, collect phone calls like that and then when I get on there if I'm trying to bust the move you know what I'm saying my homeboys ain't gonna bust no move for me cause they ain't trying to talk on their own like that Joe T so when I be hollering at the guy like man I need to get on the phone and this is that man they be acting funny with the phones and everything so Joe T I was down there trying to come up bro I ain't got no food or nothing right now bro that's crazy bro I said bro I don't care about none of that what you just said bro you was down there gambling without no money bro how you please Plead to what, your T? Gambling, bro. You know what time it is. Man, bro, what you gonna give him? I said a $50 thing. He said $50. Joe T, I can't pay that man $15, huh? I'm gonna pay $50 to the bar. I said, I don't know. I said, but you need to figure it out. Man, let me do a workout or something. I said, matter of fact, that's a good idea. We're gonna do a workout and you're gonna pay $50. Man, that's crazy. I said, come on up out the sale, bro. Jiggy on that phone. He walk out of the sale. I go back to grab my rap. What's up? Man, let me holler at you, Joe T. It's brother been down there rapped up. I said, man, yeah, come on in. He popped up. Pow. Man, bless his ear. I said, man, what you got going on? Man, forget all that, Joe T, man. Them suckers, man. They done got me out of my bread, bro. I said, who? Cause them that was in the cell, right? So we done called Gal. Gal say she gonna send the cash out. We using Cuz phone, right? Cuz say, when she send the money, I'm gonna let you know. I said, bet that. All this time though, I know she sent that money, Joe T. I told her earlier when I, you remember when you walked out and I was on the phone? I told her then, not only that, she done see, like I know she wouldn't got that money. I said, so what you, what you, what you want me to do? Man, I need to use the phone real quick, Joe T. I pulled the phone out, here you go. Go ahead. I'm telling you, Joe T, he pulled the phone out, he down the number. I'm telling you, if they got that money, I'm telling you, I'm gonna go down there and poke on one of them. I said, I hope so, cause you was out there doing all that gun swing when you was on the street. I know you ain't finna let nobody strong arm you in here. Man, ain't nobody taking up for me, Joe T. He called a girl, he put on speaker. Bam. She, 
Are you okay? Are you? Yeah, I'm good, but I'm just, you sent that money, then you said, yes, I sent it, I sent it. He, all right, babe, I'm gonna call you back. He get off the phone, Pah. I'm looking at him, he look at me, we look at each other, he pulled the knife out. Man, I'm telling you, OT, it's over with. I ain't, I said, what you gonna do? Man, I'm gonna go down and get my money. He think, I, I'm guessing he wondering if I'm gonna say, don't do it, or I'm gonna go down here with you, or let's talk it out. You a grown man. You was on time doing all that. You gonna take care of your business. I'm finna, I'm finna finish this food out, man. Cause I, I listen, he, man, he, don't look at me. I picked the rapper up. He walk out the sale. This man go down here to the info sale. Taps on the door. Pop, pop, pop. They tell him come in. He walk in. Ups the knife. Man, y'all got me. And drops the knife. Dramatic effect, man, please. This man dropped the knife. Man, y'all got me messed up. It hit the floor. He, ding, ding. They just stand up. What you got going on, cuz? Up now. He said, man, I would come down here to see if y'all were trying to buy a night good, ain't it? They were like, no, 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 no. What you was talking about, you? He was like, no, nah, I wasn't nothing like that. They done reached down, picked the knife up, smacked him. Man, come on up out the cell. Man, what you got going on, bro? You sure? Man, they push him out the cell. He come back down there to my cell. I said, what's up? He popped it off. Man, Joe T. I said, what's up? Bro, took my knife too, bro. I said, do what? Folk took my knife too, bro. I said, see, that what's wrong with y'all young dudes right there, oh, right there. Y'all be out on the town when y'all got them guns, y'all hard. When you, yeah, 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 you hard on town. Them folk come in here and finish. I said, what money was it? A yard, OT. A yard, you don't know what a yard is. They let me know you ain't a bit of the street. I said, them, took my money and a knife, OT. I said, what you gonna do? Shoot. I'm gonna choke, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot an idiot with a, mm -hmm. I said, what? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I said, man, close my door. He closed the door. I'm sitting there thinking to myself, see, these dudes be on the streets. And see, you got too much, you got too much room to run and hide. You really can't, you know what I'm saying? But see, in the penitentiary, this, this is different in the penitentiary. When you come in here, for one, you gotta have a whole different heart to stick somebody. Now, I'm saying, he think he gonna go down there and just up the knife and they gonna give it to him. Nah, they ain't how it work. It's the same thing in the street. A lot of people really ain't tough. They don't want to use the gun. They think when you up the gun, it's going to scare the gun. A lot of people catching bodies and hurting people because they get put in a position where they don't have a choice but to use the gun. They really ain't got the heart to pull the trigger. They just forced them because they thought they was just going to scare the person. And a lot of these young dudes come to the penitentiary and then they realize ain't no running, ain't no hiding, and you got to face every problem head on because ain't no, I'm going to wait till I catch them at the stove because they can come down and sell and knock on your door. It ain't no, I'm gonna wait till I see him come out of the house because, guess what, you gotta go to the shower every day. It ain't no such and such and such, I'm gonna wait till I kiss him because, listen, <laughs> you're gonna have to go to the gym, the big yard, shower. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Pitching rules in effect. And if you ain't never been to the penitentiary, listen, man, I advise you to never go to the penitentiary.